So we're here with the uh, Inforce, and uh, this is a very small development board. So hello. So who are you? Uh, hi, uh, my name is Vasu Marabushi, and uh, I'm a director of marketing at Inforce Computing. We are a partner of Qualcomm, and uh, we license various uh, Snapdragon uh, processors for embedded applications. So what are we looking at here? Uh, uh, it goes into this uh, development board. Yeah. So basically, this is a system and a module. What it has is the applications processor with a quad core. Uh, CPU is running at 2.7 gigahertz. It has a desktop class GPU, hexagon uh, DSP core, and dual image signal processors that can, uh, you know, take up to three cameras, 55 megapixels. And the beauty of our a system on a module is it gives embedded designers the full flexibility to design their own breakout board or a carrier board. Which is what do you have on the back over there? Uh, the back side we have uh, two 100 pin connectors and the power management uh, uh, IC. So uh, at the top we have the uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module, the GPS, uh, the audio codex, the uh, flash memory and then and the LPDDR3 to go with it. So is it uh, SOC and, and DDR in the same? Yeah, the POP package, package it's on pop. package. Package on package? Yeah. So it's very compact, it can go where? Yeah, so drones. this is uh, suited for uh, swap uh, constraint designs or size, weight, and power constrained uh, embedded applications. And it's only 28 millimeters uh, by 50 millimeters in size. And uh, the carrier board, this is actually a reference carrier board design. That, that has all the connections. Yeah, it has all the IOs. But what we can do is we can help you design your own custom carrier board that yeah. suits your end application. You just bring the IOs uh, that are suited for your particular application. And then you just build an enclosure, build the software, and all the, you know, connect all the peripheral devices and go to market. Uh, the, the, the carrier board could be extremely small. It could be uh, something that will fit the uh, system on a module. So you'll have a, a, a connector that this will go into. Or, and yeah, it you could can be design all kinds of robots. What, what is it for? So, so this can go into a wide variety of applications. Uh, it can go into video conferencing endpoint solutions. Anywhere you need high-end video or graphics processing. It can go into medical imaging uh, devices that are portable. So this is, yeah. uh, which chip is that? This one is the Snapdragon 805 or APQ8084. So the 805 is in there and you also have a different version? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. Which, which one is that? Uh, you have a... So what you see here is the Enforce uh, 6401 microSOM. And this is based on uh, the Snapdragon 600 processor or APQ8064. And the good thing about this microSOM is the one that I showed you earlier, which is based on Snapdragon 805. We are both pin and form factor compatible. Okay. With the same carrier board design. So let's say you start with Snapdragon 600 based micro system on a module today. Yeah. And say two years down the line you want to upgrade to a higher uh, uh, processing power based uh, system yeah. on a module. So you can easily migrate to a latest Snapdragon no. processor. So is this your standard? Uh, is yeah, this is industry standard. No, this is uh, Inforce's this is own. Inforce. Uh, Design. Yeah. yeah. But That's you right. help people de design those uh, boards? That yes. We design? help our uh, customers actually des yeah. custom design their carry boards. And. Um, all right. So, uh, so what do you do at Inforce? You do lots of uh, development boards. Not not development boards. These are production ready uh, system and modules that can go into actual. Uh, you know, uh, end products. So this is the next step from the de development boards. This is actually real well, stuff that comes out in the yes, real world. Yeah, we also provide development platforms for people. Yeah. As I showed earlier, this is the uh, full-fledged uh, development platform. They can actually write their uh, device drivers and uh, applications on top of the either Android or Linux operating system that we provide. And uh, is this your famous, uh, famous yeah, this board? this is uh, our latest um, Single board computer based on the Snapdragon 600 processor. It's an upgrade to the classical Infor 6410. This is called as a 6410 Plus. Uh, the differences are that now you have a shorter profile. Uh, it's only 16 millimeters in height. It has uh, GPS, better uh, interfaces for your uh, display, MIPI DSI and MIPI CSI. And uh, overall, uh, well-proven uh, design uh, that can be used for a lot of uh, mid-range uh, compute requirements. So you've had uh, 
the 6410 for a while. Yes. And uh, what have people done with it? How far oh, uh, this uh, design has gone into uh, video conferencing uh, type of systems endpoint where you can customize it to have multiple HDMI outputs and HDMI input. This has gone into um, various robotics projects. If you look at Open Source Robotics Foundation, they have used uh, the same board to port a robotic operating system uh, or the Snapdragon uh, processor um, uh, for uh, one of their products, which is their TotalBot. All right, which one is that? This is uh, uh, the single board uh, computer based on the Snapdragon 805 processor. And uh, this is the APQ 8084 based. Uh, very versatile, a lot of interfaces for uh, um, you have your gigabit internet, USB 3.0. This can do 4K video capture and uh, uh, a display. That's really good for video conferencing, no? Yeah, for 4K, yes, certainly. 4K is, is crazy. Qualcomm, the CPU, is doing 4K yeah. recording, playback. Yeah, so oh, this, this can do uh, 4K H.265 decode, but H.264 encode and decode. Nice. And then moving on to the next generation of uh, Snapdragon processors, you'll have uh, full uh, HEVC uh, encode and decode uh, nice. and 4K. And you're showing another board over there? Yeah. Yeah. At some point, when they're super smart, they're so, so you saw the classical Infor uh, 6410 Plus earlier. What we have here is a, is a mezzanine card, uh, which is basically a peripheral abstraction uh, core that was be here. has um, 10 degrees of freedom uh, sensors, um, and it has a 32-bit uh, ARM Cortex R4. Uh, Controller and also interface for uh, Grove sensors. Uh, with what this, sensors? Uh, Grove, Grove, uh, Grove sensors. You can add uh, multiple sensors for, such as uh, gesture, gesture sensor, light sensor, uh, and so on and so forth. So this is IoT stuff, but high end well, this, IoT. Yeah, you can you can for high end. Uh, IoT type of applications, you know, you can connect multiple sensors. Well, all the heavy duty uh, lift, uh, you know, uh, lifting is done by the Infor 6410 Plus board at the bottom. Uh, the one on the top is your mezzanine card that has also uh, also with uh, modulation and then your bus for motor control and uh, drone type of applications. So this is uh, advanced stuff here. What yeah. is this R4? Yeah. Who makes yeah. that? That is an ST. Uh, ST. Yeah, ST. Yes. Um, uh, Cortex R4 microcontroller. All right. So, who's going to be a customer for that? Uh, anyone that does a uh, lot of computation at the edge of the network, right? You have a lot of sensors. Uh, you're doing a lot of processing. Uh, this is a uh, good, uh, uh, you know, product for that kind of an application. Nice. So we hear the Qualcomm booth. Uh, what do you think about the the Dragon board, uh, the 96 boards, that kind of stuff? 